Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is going to be a pretty short video. Um, I've done some home automation over the last few years using a Samsung uh, Smart Hub, um, Smart Things kind of uh, based system, and it supports both Zigbee and Z Wave. And occasionally I'll make a casual reference to it here and there in the videos, and I've gotten some questions uh, about it. So when I was in the market here just in the last few days uh, for a Smart Lock, I decided that maybe it would be a decent idea to just do a quick video about it. Now I'm not going to, this isn't going to be an installation video or anything like that, but what I do want to do, uh, this is a quick set smart code 888. And the reason I bought this particular one on Amazon is because uh, I was looking for something that wasn't too crazy expensive. And these things can get well north of $200. This one was only $112 on Amazon. And uh, so I want to see how well it works. Hopefully it will meet my needs. And what I'll do is after I get installed, I'll show you basically how it works and how you uh, add it to your smart devices in the Smart Things app and do some programming with it. And maybe if you're interested in doing something like that, this video might help you decide whether or not you, this might be a product worth checking out. So anyway, let's get on with it. All right, now that we've got the hardware part of the installation basically done, it's time to add it to the Smart Things app. So let's take a look at that on the phone. So the first thing we do is we go into the Smart Things app on the phone and we will click the plus sign. And then we are going to choose device to add a new device. And we're going to shop by brand here, or at least search by brand. And we are going to scroll down and see if we can't find a quick set brand to match our device. There's quick set. So we'll select quick set and we can only choose door locks and we will choose a Z-Wave door lock. All right, let's press the start button and continue. Now at this point, we have to choose what room we're going to, to associate this with. So I'm going to pick hallway and I click next. And now the app is going to ask me to press the programming button here, the A button, which is this one on the top. And once I do that, after a few seconds, it'll find the device. And I do get this strange security message here. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I'm not having much luck finding out exactly what I'm missing with the security feature. So I'll go ahead and acknowledge that. And now I have a chance to rename the device. So I don't want it to say quick set. So I'm going to just backspace over this and I'll call it front door lock. Super creative because that's how I roll. And we'll click done. All right. Now let's scroll down here and find it. There's our device. Uh, let's just go ahead and open up that device and see what our options are. All right. Let's lock it and see what it does. Wow. A little noisier than I would have expected. All right. Now that we've got our smart lock added to the smart things app, it's time to add a few automations. So I want to do three automations. First, I want to set up one which will automatically lock the door if the door is closed at a certain time during the day. And then I want to add another one that notifies me if the door is not closed right before that previous automation fires off. So I have a chance to make sure that the door is closed. And then lastly, I also want to add an automation which will notify me when the battery on the door lock is starting to get low. All right, so let's jump in and do that. Let's click the plus sign and we will choose automation. Now we have our if and then options. All right, so let's click the plus sign for if. Now this is again going to be at a certain time each day we want the door to lock. So I want to say if the time is, uh, let's say 8 p.m. and we will save that and then I'll click another plus here and the status of the door, which is the front door sensor, contact sensor, is closed. And we'll save that. So at 8 p.m., if the front door is closed, then I want the door to lock. So we will control devices and front door lock. Next. And we will say locked and save that. So very straightforward. If at 8 p.m. each day the front door is closed, then lock the front door. So we'll go ahead and save that 
and I will just uh, backspace over that and say front door lock 8 p.m. daily. All right, so that's our first automation. Now let's add another one that'll let us know if the front door is not closed. So again, we'll click the plus sign and we're gonna say at a certain time, we're gonna say, we did the other one at 8 p.m. So let's do 7.45. So I have 15 minutes to remedy that situation if the door isn't closed. And so each day at 7.45 p.m., if the front door sensor the contact sensor is open and I'll save that then I want a notification so notify someone and send notification to members now members are just people that you've added to the app who are going to be native users of the app so anybody who we've added as a member to our particular uh, smart things sort of universe here will get a notification you can also send texts to specific people who aren't necessarily members as well. And as you can see, you can also attach a photo if uh, you had a security camera, for example, uh, taking a snapshot, if that was something that you wanted to add. It doesn't really apply in this case. I will give a message. So we'll say front door is still open and we'll say done and save. All right, so that's our second one. And we'll go ahead and save that. And again, front door open, 7.45 p.m. All right, so now I can have the door lock automatically and I can be notified if the door is open so it can't be locked. Now let's do a quick automation to tell us when the battery is low. So if device status, and we will pick the front door lock, uh, we can choose lock state or battery. So we'll choose battery. So if the battery is equal to or below, let's say 5%, and we'll save that, then we again want a notification. So I'm just gonna notify members. And I will get a message here that says, front door lock battery is at 5%. All right, save that. Now we'll have to give the automation a name and we'll just leave it at front door lock battery. I'll put low here. And there we go, easy peasy. All right, so I didn't show the actual installation obviously, but uh, I'll put a picture up here. You can see what it looks like once it is installed. And uh, the instructions were very clear. Now I did have a, a quick set deadbolt that I was replacing with the quick set uh, smart code. Um, so, you know, all of the, uh, like the, the jam and the, um, all the cutouts and everything were, were really just really easy swap out uh, for what I already had. Um, now they do provide adapters if the opening for your deadbolt is smaller or larger, so should accommodate most uh, standard doors. So it was really pretty much a piece of cake to install. And as you saw, it was very easy to add it to the application. So hopefully you got a little bit of a sense too about uh, how easy it is to use the SmartThings app now, especially with this new version. Um, now, if, if you haven't gotten into the SmartThings ecosystem yet, uh, you can buy the SmartThings Home Kit for around uh, uh, about 180 bucks, I think. In fact, I just checked the price on the uh, the Smart Code 888, uh, and I think it is now just under $100. So, uh, significantly less expensive than most of the other options I saw on there. So basically, and I feel like it's a pretty well-made lock. I did, I did program a keypad for the outside and test that. It works great. Um, the, you know, the, really the only complaint I had about it was, um, well, I guess there were two things. One of them is not necessarily a problem, but the, the first one is, is that it, it is pretty loud when it's opening and closing or locking and unlocking. Um, louder than I expected. And uh, honestly, I, I don't really have a frame of reference to know whether or not that is louder than the other types of locks on the market or not. I suspect they're all a little louder than you might imagine. Um, and, and maybe for the premium ones, you might get a slightly quieter motor, but I don't know that there's gonna be a huge difference between the expensive ones and the less expensive one in terms of sound. Um, I think most of it is, is what you get in terms of features. You might get a more uh, contemporary touchpad rather than a little rubber push button 
on the outside and things like that. Now this does require four AA batteries. It came with the AA batteries. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll put a you know a picture up here that shows you exactly what came in the box since I didn't really do an unboxing for it. Um, everything that you really need except for a screwdriver, um, and it takes a you know a Phillips head screwdriver, so no big deal. So I'm really happy with the lock. Oh, by the way, that the second thing I mentioned too was that little thing about the security features not being supported. Um, I did call their tech support line, the, the number that came with the instructions that said to call this number if you had any problems or questions. Um, they tried to tell me that that the message was basically saying, since I didn't have like an AD, ADT uh, smart home controller, that I wouldn't be able to control this thing remotely. And so I would be missing out on some of those remote control features. And I, I challenged her on that and uh, she kind of stuck to her guns. Uh, but uh, I do have remote control with smart things. I can control smart things uh, from my app anywhere where I have an internet connection. I don't have to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi. Um, now I will say that uh, I can also do the Alexa integration. So I can use Alexa voice commands. Now with, with a, a lock, Alexa is smart enough to know that they don't want just anybody using Alexa to unlock your phone or to unlock your, your home. Uh, so they actually get you, have you put a passcode on there. So in addition to the command, uh, when you ask it to unlock your, your front door, it will uh, it'll ask you for a passcode. And if you don't have the passcode, it won't uh, it won't do the uh, the action. So anyway, if these home automation topics are something you'd like to see more of, please let me know in the comments below, and I will uh, see if I can do some more of these uh, kinds of topics. And if there's any information in this one that you found helpful, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. So that's all I got for you. Uh, we do hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have fun out there.